guys, welcome back. I'm gonna be working on the on rehandling the old tractor knife. And if it's the uh which I think is what it is, is the piece of thread all the way through to the hand, uh, to the blade. I'm gonna be replacing it and pointing up reusing this and cutting it in half and using it as scales and be putting a uh, welding on a piece of flat steel, flat plating. One of these, I uh, cut it down and reshape it and to the handle, and go from there, and uh, do the entire handling process. So we'll be uh, trying a GoPro here soon, as well. I got it. Actually, see if I can get it in there. Yeah, I got. It. I don't know if you can see it. It's right there, I think. Yeah, right in that general area. I'll be having the GoPro going as well. That way it's more of an on the on the bench viewing instead of over the shoulder. So uh I'll go ahead and get everything going and get everything started. Exactly what I thought it was.
inside and let me go ahead and put the scales on. Once I do get them on, I'm going to have to sand them down some more again. Uh, just to flatten down this outside of it. Try to make this back a little bit more even. Because uh, whenever I roughed them on, just to put them on there, they were the scales are just awfully big and put, uh, with the uh, scales and the steel so I don't have to definitely sand these down whenever I get them, whenever I get it there so go ahead and get it going I'll have to I've been having issues with the GoPro and this camera so uh, <laughs> this video is probably going to be a messed up one a little bit but like I said I've been having camera issues on this video on this uh, project so I'm going to get the stuff going and we and get it set up in the vise for the night and work on it tomorrow so I'll get set up It is finished. I went ahead and kept the guard on it, and uh, hope so. I should stay tight. I went ahead and mo uh, modified it to where it should, but it uh, it should stay pretty taut on there. And the handle is definitely, obviously, a lot tighter. I really hate those pin, those uh, bolt type handles. I really don't like this at all. So this thing is already already feeling a little bit heavier, but man, it is a lot more comfortable. And went ahead and rounded off the edges. I didn't get I didn't get this part in the video because uh, I was having so, I was having so much issues with the video with the, with the cameras that I didn't want to deal with it anymore. So I went ahead and just. Uh, 
skipped that part and went straight to the polyurethane. Yeah, well, there's a little minor sanding in the polyurethane. Uh, so, I was wanting to go ahead and test this thing out and see how much better it feels once, I, once I've done this. So, let me get you set up and we'll go ahead and do it. Alright, different piece of wood. Alrighty, let's go ahead and try this. Take two. Let's go ahead and try this. That feels so much better. Just enough square to where you can change it a little bit and a lot heavier to where you got a little bit more swing to it. So I'm already liking it a lot more. Yeah, oh yeah, a lot better. I'm going to get you guys a little bit of a close up to it. As you can see, it's that eighth inch plate there. And it's this, uh, I think it was cherry wood, I don't remember. I kind of goofed up on this front pin and just barely cracked it, but I think it'll be all right. And, oh, but, I gotta do a little bit more cleaning up on this. Some of the polyurethane I put on there is stuck. I ran down the guard. And I got a little bit up top as well. I think that might be blue, but something. I'll go ahead and tighten, uh, clean it up real good. and It's really nice. A lot better than what it was. I got a little bit of discoloration there from the welding. Whenever I put this on. But... I think it should be alright. So, let's go ahead and get you on with the video verse. Alrighty, this one is in 1 Peter chapter 4, and it's 7 through 11. To, uh, the end of the world is coming soon. Therefore, be earnest and disciplined in your prayers. Most importantly of all, continue to show deep love for each other, for love covers a multitude of sins. Cheerfully share your home with those who need a meal or a place to, to stay. God has given each of you a gift from his great variety of spiritual gifts. Use them well to serve one another. Do you have the gift of speaking? To speak as though God himself were speaking through you. Do you have the gift of helping others? Do it with all the strength and energy that God supplies then everything you do will bring glory to God through Jesus Christ. All glory and power to Him forever and ever. Amen. And that is 1 Peter chapter 4, 7-11. I'll see you in the next one.